Hi, my name's Amy and I'm back again to show you another design that you can paint on your glass. Um, again, this could be any type of drinking glass that you want, whether it's something that you want to use at home, like when you have guests. This is just a sample of just a quick little design that I painted up. It's just on the front side. You can actually do it all the way around your glass. Just keep in mind when you're painting on glass, it's important if you're baking it to place it in a cold oven preheat, add the preheat time to your bake time, and then let the oven cool down before you bring the glass out of the oven. Again, that's very, very important to try to keep the glass from breaking. Um, I actually use folk art, art enamels. Uh, those are my favorite. I have actually used some different types of glass painting paint in the past, but I keep coming back to the folk art enamels. Today I'm using School Bus Yellow, Wicker White, Cerulean Blue, um, Moss Green, and Thicket. Again, this is going to be just a, a quick demonstration on what you can do. I'm painting on a, a glass dish. This, so hopefully it's easier for you to see as opposed to trying to see me actually painting on the glass. I think you get the gist of it. Just let me know if you have any questions. The only brush I'm going to be using today is a flat number 10 brush and it is a um, one stroke brush and I actually do like those they seem to hold up really well um, have had them actually this one's pretty pretty tattered but you know no reason not to use it I'm pretty messy as a painter anyways all right uh, first I'm going to start off with a five leaf five petal flower using the cerulean blue and the goodness I've got paint all over myself sorry about that okay basically with this is just a real easy stroke you just and pull up and again it's just going to be five petals and just come around now I'm left-handed you may need to start in the opposite direction of me um, that's fine. Sometimes I have a tendency to do things backwards because I am left-handed, but that's okay. And to keep in mind when you're painting on glass, it's really easy for you to turn your piece to get the strokes in the direction and looking as nicely as you would like them to be. A little bit more difficult when you're painting on something that's stationary. One thing I like about painting on glass is the fact that if you make a mistake it's easy to correct or don't like what you painted, wash it off, start again. Keep in mind too that it's very important when you're working with glass that you either clean it with soap and water, dry it, and then you're ready to go or you can clean it and wipe it off with rubbing alcohol that's also a very nice uh, product to clean your glassware with before you start painting on it the folk art enamels one thing nice about these is that they can either be baked in the oven or cured for 21 days now when they say cured that's just for the paint to be totally set doesn't mean that you can't use it or can't touch it for that amount of time. It just means that you need to allow that amount of time in order for the paint to uh, be you know, used in a dishwasher, that type of thing. If you're putting glassware in a dishwasher, I do definitely recommend top shelf, top rack. Don't place it on the bottom because I can tell you, your paint's going to melt off. Mm. You're really not going to be able to avoid that if you put it on the bottom rack. And these are just simple little flowers and, or flowers and leaves that I'm painting. There's a lot of different ways you can create these type of flowers. I'm just using the basic one stroke technique. Also keep in mind too when you're painting on glass, especially with paint like folk art enamels, the thicker you place the paint on, 
the more durable the paint will be once you are uh, you know, ready to use it. However, with that being said, you do have to be careful when you're putting it on thickly that you don't put it on too thick or the paint will bubble when it's being baked. So that's something I have to have to make you aware of that you do need to make sure that it's not too thick. Because I've had a lot of people say, boy, your paint looks really opaque. And yeah, I mean, you're still going to see, have, you know, it's still going to be see-through to an extent. You're still going to see sunlight through it when you hold it up. But it is more opaque than it is thin and see-through. And again, you just have to keep playing with it till you get it to where you like it. Now I like to couple two leaves together at a time. Not sure why, but that seems to be my favorite way of painting. Glass is also a great, great thing to practice on if you're trying to get your strokes. Um, I like to paint on glass for the fact that your brush flows nicely and it's easy to clean off and start again if you need to. Also a nice product to practice on is wax paper. You can practice on that and then it's easy to throw away and keep moving on. Like I said, this, this is a, an easy design. Not a lot of different strokes in it. Let's add some little interest to these petals here. Now before you bake your glassware, I do recommend that you allow it to dry for at least an hour before baking it. And to finish off these little petals, I'm just placing a yellow dot in the center and on the ends of the little ones that are cascading out here a little bit. And there you go. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Feel free to ask me any questions, leave any comments, and uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.